private property this close to Grand Teton National Park is hard to come by. But when a neighbor decided to sell, Jim jumped on it. It's got a big flat surface, and it was surrounded by trees, so it had that real woodsy effect. And it's 300 feet from the Snake River, which is great. And I got a little path to the river that I can go fishing. Jim knew exactly what he wanted to build. He enlisted designer Tim Brock to create something just like this. Perhaps the most famous log cabin in the country, the Old Faithful Lodge. Jim wanted a very lodge looking home. He wanted the traditional Western look. He wanted something that looked like it came from Yellowstone. But since logging in a national park was not an option, Tim Brock took the bull by the horns. He secured logs in Idaho, then astonishingly ordered the cabin pre-built. These logs were hand-hewn, numbered, disassembled, and dropped onto 23 flatbeds bound for Wyoming. 40 back-breaking days later, a house with a view. And that was the easy part. Fitting the glass in these 25-foot-high window frames was like juggling bricks on a tightrope. And we had built frames inside of those cedars, but then it all had to fit together. I know they were all worried like hell that that was really going to work. This is no ordinary glass. It has to withstand the hazards of living in wild country. We have a lot of wild big animals, moose and, and a lot of elk that run around here. And we didn't want one of them crashing through and breaking that glass. There are as many animals on the inside of this house as there are on the outside, except these critters are a little less lively. I didn't shoot any of them, but they're the easiest thing to buy in this town because the, about an hour after you're dead, that's the first thing your wife does is put those things on the yard and have a yard sale. Jim wanted the house to look 100 years old, so he used a lot of reclaimed wood, some of it salvaged from Old Faithful Lodge when it was renovated. I did it completely by myself. I never wanted to use a designer because found out the years that then you get their dream, and this was my dream. Make no mistake, this is Jim's house and Jim's rules. This is my dining room, and it's right off the kitchen, but uh, what makes it a little bit unique, I think, is we have a, a full sofa that reclines, and we have a big screen TV, and most women wouldn't tolerate that in a dining room, but I did it the way I wanted.